I mean, I was literally just talking about calming down about Frozen, and yet I can't help but say that you can't overhype this film. I'm kidding, you definitely could, so please just, just don't, okay, world? You, you destroyed Frozen by over, 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 over. So don't do it with this one, okay, please. After having to keep to a lot of kind of normal Disney restrictions in some ways in the first film, directors Jennifer Lee and Chris Buck essentially must have gotten the white blank page and check to just do whatever weird shit they wanted in the sequel, because boy did they. Explaining the fucking plot of the first film in the sequel, going through with the songs, so you knit Kristoff's song, oh my god, I... I'm a mess. As with any really special sequel, the first film doesn't feel like a complete story anymore. It doesn't feel like it stands alone without this. It, they feel like it, it's one story. It feels like you should be calling it Frozen Part 1 now, you know? One of the best things is these action sequences. It feels, in such a strange way, it feels like heroic fantasy is the genre they go for, but not in the way you'd expect. It's, it, it's really special to get such edge of your seat thrilling action all the way throughout not just in the third act all the way throughout an animated film the stakes feel higher the more poignant moments will tear your beating heart out of your chest and it's just it's really good everything in this film feels like something truly special it's definitely in like the top five or six maybe disney films in my opinion i might be wrong i don't know there's a cat on my desk okay and um i'm giving this film 88 out of 100 only The Lion King is a higher score in Disney for me. I've never seen an animated character so perfectly encapsulate an actor like Anna does Kristen Bell. It's unbelievable.